And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> okay. Wait, we're, are we back? I swear to God. <laughs> we are back. <laughs> oh, um, welcome back to my channel. My name's So Carmichael. These are my wonderful roommates. And today we are doing a college advice video for you incoming freshmen. Yes. Yes. I uh, asked if you guys wanted us to touch upon topics or questions here and not at oh, yourself. Oh, I'm definitely looking I at I always myself. look at myself. <laughs> I know. Basically, just to know what you guys want to know about, you know, college. We are all freshmen at Wentworth Institute of Technology located in Boston, Boston Massachusetts. Massachusetts. See, how did you know Wentworth was the best decision for you? So, for me, it was a small school in a big city. And I really like the feel of that because I didn't want a big school and this just like, it had a really good industrial design program, which is what I'm studying. Uh, this is like an engineering school. Um, oh yeah. It's I decided to come here because I just kind of liked the vibe when I um, like came and toured on campus and it's in Boston and I wanted to be like in a city. The co-op program here is really good. Yeah, the co-op program is kind of what sells a lot of people because it's like awesome. Like, if you don't know what a co-op is, it's like a, paid, a internship. paid internship and what we take, we do two of them and then there's another like optional one for us. Uh, Catherine actually transferred. She's 20 yeah. years old. I, yep. Technically a sophomore. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was at a really big school. Like Virginia, Virginia Tech, Tech if, if you know yeah. it. It's, it's such a good school. It just wasn't a good fit personally. So That's my mom found it actually. <laughs> what are some must haves that power strips? Yeah, it's nice to like bring like your own food or like snacks because it's not like you always will want to leave to go eat. So, you know, the classic like ramen, easy mac and cheese. Mattress if you come topper. Yeah, a mattress really topper. Really nice mattress topper. So first thing, if you go to Accepted Students Day or the freshman orientation in like the summer, like kind of summer, bring a fan. And I know it's kind of weird, like you're not gonna want to bring a fan, but you'll want it. But you'll, you'll want one. It. It's gonna it's be gonna if be it's gonna so be hot, hot. The dorms that you stay in, like, cause you stay you in overnight, easy. are terrible. It you, it's like it's really hot. So Tegan and I actually brought like a big box fan, and it was nice, cause we ended up we were we in got put in the same room. room. Yeah, That's and so we exciting. we drove. Down. How far away are you from home? I just love home. So I'm two hours away from home, driving. Tegan's like two and a half. Yeah. Because um, we live in the same state. I'm a good 12 hour drive, but mm. I am. It's only like a hour, hour and a half flight. Yep. What is the roommate process like? <laughs> <laughs> I know. David, really? Really? Not really, David? No, we're David. not going to talk about that here. <laughs> Come on. So, the roommate selection I know that a lot of colleges do Facebook pages, and if you. Are, if there it. is one, like join the Facebook group. And I know for us, a lot of people, like not a lot of girls posted in it. No. But I know I did, and I, I like Tegan didn't, Catherine didn't. Mm -hmm. um, but that's like another really good way. I know that Facebook, a lot of people don't have Facebook, but post like a little blurb about yourself, you know, like love hanging out with friends, um, like to <laughs> be social, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. to stay in some nights. Like that's very common to say. And then you post like a couple pictures of you with your friends just so people, you know. No, no you're you not. Like. They're like Instagram or Snapchat in, and then you can just like <laughs> add them on Snapchat and start a relationship. Yeah. Match well and together. You. Match. Real match. We match. How do you deal with being sick in college? It's terrible. It's so bad not having your yeah. mom here. To go to the doctor on alone. your own. Tina and I just did that recently. We sat there at for the th urgent like two care. and a half hours. Um, what colleges did you look at, and how did you pick? So, okay, so I only applied. I thought I applied to five, but I think I only applied to four. I know a lot of people, like all my friends and stuff, they applied to like 10 or like like eight to 12 or something. They applied to a lot because they didn't really know. Got into SCAD. SCAD was another one that I really wanted to look like, um, or look at Savannah College of Art and Design. I sat in an industrial design class and I didn't really like, I loved SCAD, but I didn't like how it was like set up and didn't like kind of like their program as much. When I came here and looked at their program, I just fell in love with it. I applied to UMaine, um, but I know I didn't really want to go to UMaine. I to Appalachian State. I don't know, I kind of always knew that I was probably gonna end up here, um, just cause I wanted to be in Boston. Same. Yeah. You think it's a good idea for people to get jobs in college? So, 
for like me and Tegan, we have a work study. So we kind of, or we're allowed to get a job through the school. Yeah. So I'm like a studio monitor and I just get paid to like sit in studio while people do their work and while I do my work. So I get paid to do my homework really. Same. <laughs> It's not bad. Yeah. Uh, I know for me, I would, I'd struggle a lot trying to have a Juggle job it, in yeah. college also because yeah, I'm so, so busy. And like when I go home on like breaks, there's just so much I want to do when I get home that I don't. It'd be hard. But like summer work breaks over and like breaks winter breaks. And stuff. But how have you coped with being away from Maine and your family? It's honestly not been that hard, especially being with like <laughs> our my roommates, you know, you guys, my <laughs> friends. Because it's like you just yeah. live with your friends and it's just, it's fun. But at the same time, you have to kind of remember that, like, you're here for school and that you're doing schoolwork and reason. that it's not just, like, yeah. you could literally fail out in that. So period. easily, so easily. Um, so time management tips. Um, try and get your stuff done. Yeah, be on top. And of then, things. like, reward yourself with, like, going out or hanging out with friends or, like, spending a money on, like, a dinner. Not That's not your, like, dining hall. Do like one thing at a time. My problem is that I see like if I have a big project, I see it as like this huge thing that like I just don't want to touch yet. But then if I do literally like one piece of it, then it's yeah. easier. Like mm -hmm. literally just do like one piece at a time. If you do some work over the weekends, do some work. <laughs> we say all of this and, and <laughs> no, and but like no. I actually but, went into no, studio. No, but last Sunday weekend. literally was visiting my boyfriend and That's not came true. back. To to do homework. What do you like and dislike about being on your own slash away from family in college? Food. Yeah. It's not as good You at don't all. get yeah, like your like home cooked food. meal or anything. Laundry kind of sucks right now. Yeah. But also just like I do miss my family and like I miss my sister but at the yeah, same time like it wasn't like too hard. I've also like I went away for camp and stuff and like I'd been away from my family before. How to get with super hot guys. <laughs> well if you come to Wentworth Actually, it's only 20% girls, so you don't you really a have selection. a lot of competition, and you mm -hmm. have a lot of selection. Any pro tips for incoming freshmen at Wentworth? Don't be, like, afraid of, like... Going up and saying hi like, to anyone. Of, like, people yeah. thinking you're weird or something. Because Wait, everyone's... Yeah, that's actually... Th okay, if you're by yourself, say you're, like, by yourself, and you're, like, sitting by yourself in the dining hall, no one's really gonna come up to you. Like, you have to make that effort. Do you know what I mean? Try and, like, make a connection just with, like, one person or, like, more... At, like your accepted students at your freshman orientations. Yeah, like, ahead of time mm -hmm. so you know people going in. Yeah, and then like those don't have to be your main friends. You're not stuck with them for the rest of your college career. Nope. You will meet new people. You meet people like every day, honestly. It's, it's like, really it's cool. cool. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's in the same boat as you. And like you everyone to, yeah, doesn't know the anyone. Beginning, so just... And like you might see like a group of girls or something or a group of guys that like already kind of like have their friends and... But just because they have that doesn't mean you can't be like, Doesn't mean that, like, you, they also might, like, they could like you. Like, you could become part of their little friend group. Everyone here is, like, really nice. How to get dick. <laughs> Again, we're 20% girls. Guys will just come to you. You don't even have to try. <laughs> um, staying true to yourself. Not that hard in college, honestly. It's a lot harder in high school, I think. Or you can be your own person. You don't have to be the person you were in high school. You can... Do you feel like you didn't really like fit into a group or that you tr that you acted different in high school to like fit into like a group or of click people yeah or a standard you can you go to college and no one knows your past no one mm -hmm. knows who you were if you ever had any like beef with any like it doesn't Nothing, matter yeah. everything from call or from high school and middle school just gets like discarded it doesn't matter. it doesn't matter I'm not going to college. I just want to know what you think about that. Well, I personally think that that's she fine. She would love that. She, I, <laughs> Stone yeah. would love that more than anyone in the whole world, probably. She would love to just not vlog not, all day not and not go to class and just do Stone stuff, you know? Yeah, so, okay, advice now for freshmen. It's, it's getting close. Come here. Come here. Come here. We're going to tell you a secret. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Listen, listen up, folks. Being arrested matters. <laughs> but we haven't gotten arrested. We're not. We have. We're not bad. We're kids. not. Are so like if you're a new college student and say you, like you've never, like partied or anything like that, and it's like oh. you know typical for like you know <laughs> the college experience. You go out on the weekends. You like you know, do all that kind of stuff. L just be careful. Like if you're. If it's like your first time like ever doing anything like 
Don't just get peer don't pressure. Don't like, keep up. Don't try like, yeah, up. take it slow. Like, know your limits or like learn your limits before you're like in a situation that could potentially be bad and badly. Yeah, just like be very careful because that would be a really crappy way to like start off. And don't don't bring all your clothes. It's hard not to. We don't have frats, but some people say like, bring a jacket to go out when it's cold. So people call it a fracket. Kind of like a jacket that you could buy at like Forever 21 or like Goodwill or something. Something that like you wouldn't cry over if it got lost or stolen. Or like a little backpack. Even you could bring a drawstring backpack like if you wanted oh, yeah. to like carry stuff to a mm -hmm. party. Don't bring your Louis Vuitton backpack like out with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Subtweet? <laughs> Unbelievable. The audacity to say something like that. Unbelievable. Speaking of the devil. <laughs> Speaking of. Oh. Oh. You said, how's it going, darling? So fun. What is your favorite thing about the school? Oh, okay. Location. Um. Only the location and just like the people that come here are just like kind of I was cool. gonna say, I think my favorite thing about it is the people I've met here. Yeah, and if you come here, you can be friends with us. You know? Isn't that so tempting? Uh -huh. For housing! Okay, okay, ready? So, if you're coming to Wentworth, there is three, three places you can live for a freshman. <laughs> One of them is Baker Hall, which is where you'll stay when you're in your freshman orientation. Traditional yeah. style. Yeah, yeah. Traditional. you have a... Just a double. Yeah, you, have, you bathroom, share bathrooms. That sort of thing. And if you live in Evans Way or Tudbury, that's sweet style, and that's like, you can have a single room, you can have a double room, you can have a triple or a quad. Trump's the best suite I've ever if been If you in. are the nicest. If well, you are okay with living with an RA, Anything that ends in an 07 yeah. is so like really nice. We actually have like you share your bathroom with your roommates and then you have to buy your own toilet paper. So it's like if it's like in Baker and they clean it every day. And they restock the toilet paper for but you. But it's you like don't have to be your preference that. too. I wanted to live in a suite because. No, yeah, it's absolutely preference. I just wanted more people like. Yeah. What don't you like about Wentworth? Um, Our food's not that great, it's, honestly. It's honestly pretty the bad. Food there's part oh. that you'll probably get like most upset about is like, and also be, like, mm. like the dumb um, if you could go back would you choose this college again i think so i think I it's i think it's a good school for me I personally would. i don't i can't see myself at it's like a, a big fit. big school with sororities or frats i'm not a sorority girl at all yeah how is public transportation near campus so easy we are right next to the the tea, tea stop, stop and Oh my god, you got a match on Tinder. <gasps> Any surprise costs you did not know about before committing to the college? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Frequent, frequent trips to Blick. So if you don't know, Blick is the art store. <laughs> um, we go to Blick probably once, once a, a week, week at least. And if you're an industrial design student, and I think for architecture too, before you guys get to school, you are given like a list of stuff to get for your major, which is like an art bin and like... Pencils. Like basic stuff that you're gonna use the whole year. Yeah. And like that's kind of it. Do the fast apply, stuff. Apply for outside scholarships because those can add up like little ones. Yeah. Like my mom. No, I well I should. I will. Mom. mom. Apply for more outside <laughs> We're scholarships. We're gonna apply for a lot this week. It's Thursday. This weekend, this, yep. weekend. <laughs> this weekend, we're gonna sit down and apply for scholarships. <laughs> yep, we're gonna write a lot of essays this weekend. That was the video. Um, if you guys want more videos like this, like college advice, or literally, if you're thinking of coming to Wentworth, I have my like DMs open, I guess. So Actually, the DMs are open, folks. <laughs> Slide in them. But if you have a question, you guys can always like ask me. I'm gonna be completely open and honest with you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like and follow me on instagram yeah and you can follow them on instagram too if you want Should've gone like if you, want. you can follow them on instagram too <laughs> catch See, you on the flip side catch you on the flippity flop <laughs>